moved many, 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 many times. Um, that's a story for another time. But trust me, I have moved many, many times. And I have a good friend, Alatya, who is moving very soon. And um, I thought I'd just do a little thing um, on something that I always do when I travel, um, especially if I'm moving. Because no matter how many times you move, and no matter um, how often you move, uh, and no matter how many times you might have visited the place that you are moving to, um, the thing is, you always suffer from culture shock when you move. Um, and sometimes you actually suffer from culture shock worse in the places that you least expect it. Um, I had the worst culture shock when I moved once from Houston to Adelaide, Australia. Um, I was expecting it to be super, super easy. Um, they speak English. Um, they have English TV shows. They have, have sort of a, a reputation for being something in between uh, um, a British culture and an American culture, which is true. But because I expected it to be so easy, um, it was actually really, really, really difficult. And one of the things that was most difficult was it going into a regular grocery store uh, and finding out where to buy um, really silly things like um, a new hairbrush. Where would you go to buy um, some aspirin or an, any other painkiller? Um, and the thing is that, that these things sound really simple. And some people have been telling my friend that, oh, you're not moving to the edge of the world. Um, you, you know, it's, it's going to be in civilization. But the thing is that when you move, you are used to finding things in, in certain places. And not finding it in that place can be really, really stressful. And um, moving is such a very, very stressful experience in the first place. Um, you know, uprooting yourself and, and going through, worrying about your things, worrying about finding a place to live, what, worrying about so many big things. That worrying about little tiny things um, that you really wouldn't expect to worry about can really throw you for a huge loop and really can upset you incredibly because, um, because there are so many other things you want to be worrying about that not being able to find um, the cereal you want in the, in the grocery store can be really very upsetting. Um, I know it sounds like very spoiled or, or very um, like you're used to material things, but that's not necessarily it. It's just that if, if you can keep the day-to-day -day things that you expect in, a, in your routine as pain-free as possible and as easy for you to get through as possible, the easier it will be to deal with the big things. Um, because usually when I move, the thing that cause, things that cause me to have a nervous breakdown <laughs> and just collapse in a heap, a puddle of tears on the floor, are not usually the big things. They're the little things because you expect them to be there all the time. So today I thought I would just tell you, you know, what I keep with me at all times when I travel. In my carry-on, um, in a, and you might laugh at some of them, but, but th these are just like medicine-wise stuff. Um, and what I do is I take a bottle um, that's about this size or even this size. It depends how many things you have that you really freak out about um, or might need. <laughs> and I empty it and I put the things I need into it. Um, some things that... Uh, you might really, really need. Um, someone else mentioned this once uh, in a Google Plus post. Benadryl. If you suffer from allergies at all, um, even if you are on other uh, allergy medication, sometimes Benadryl is the only thing that works. And being able to find that in a foreign country, I don't care how much they speak English, I don't care how much they have allergy medication, you need it. And so I usually take about four to six, um, just because that gets you through a few days until you can figure out where to buy more. Um, and then, like, Benadryl comes in these things sometimes, and so I rip it up, 
And you can even take them out of these things because they're pink and you can separate them from other things so easily. And rip them up, stick them in the big jar. Advil PM. Um, there are two options for sleeping. One is Unisom um, and one is Advil. I don't care if you have sleeping pills in the country that someone is moving to, you say, oh, you can get that here. Yeah, but you don't know. You don't know off the back of your hand where you're going to drive to, where you're going to run to, to get that medication. To not have it is stressful. It's something you shouldn't need to worry about. I usually grab about six to ten, stick them in the bigger bottle. The other thing, um, I usually pack some Advil PM too because uh, I'll, when I get stressed, I get headaches or um, you're sleeping in a strange bed and you get sore back or whatever. Stick your favorite pain medication with PM in it, which you might not be able to find in the country that you're going to. Stick them in the jar. A ten, something like that. Um, my son needs um, Imodium. If you don't know what Imodium is for, please look it up. Um, but he, he needs those. I usually pack three or four, stick them in the big jar. The other thing, um, some other people in the family uh, don't need the Imodium. They go the other way and they need the x lax because if you get a regular, when you're first traveling, you can get um, highly irritable <laughs> and it's hard. Uh, to be irritable and waiting to go to the bathroom when you are trying to deal with other moving shit. So I pack some of those, tear up the little piece and stick them in the big jar. All of this is stuff that you can tell apart. Um, if you have birth control pills, stick those in there. Um, your regular allergy medication, this is Claritin, which I have to take every day, stick that in the jar. And then you have it in this little jar. The other thing that I always travel with, if I'm a girl, I am a girl, if you are a girl, I don't care how regular you are, I don't care how much people tell you, oh, we have feminine products like tampons or pads or whatever in the country you're going to, pack some, at least enough to last you a day because you don't know that they have the brand that you're used to. You don't know where in the grocery store to find it. You don't know what it looks like in the grocery store you're going to. Maybe they don't have it in the grocery store. Maybe you have to go somewhere special. Um, I've been in that situation uh, where I couldn't find the product in an airport. Um, so that's something I always carry with me too. I will try to think of other things, but for today, that's it. Um, and if you're ever traveling, yo! Me, I'm going to ask. <laughs> okay, <laughs> have a good one. Bye-bye.